Hi everybody! What up? Thank you for subscribing. What to up? Back nah, with me on that. Okay, go ahead. Hi everybody! This what is up? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Rocky and Crystal's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how we met. Everybody has been asking that question, how did y'all find each other? How did we meet? How did we get together? How did this man manage to put a ring on my finger and keep me locked down forever? So guess what we're going to talk about today? How we met. Did we meet? Would you like to go first, dear? <coughs> <laughs> well, I want to go last because I'm curious to see what he has to say how we met. Oh, you want me to go first? Cool. I'm a single father. I had two daughters, still have them, Lyric and Harmony. So my whole mindset at the time was like, listen, you know, God, whatever you have for me, if you have a woman that you're going to bring to be the, the wonderful mother to my beautiful daughters, then hey, Give me a sign, you know, because I just, can't just settle for just any any situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been me and my daughters for this amount of time right now so far. So uh, I got to have someone extra special that's going to be willing to uh, step up to the plate. You know what I'm saying? Not to only be a wonderful mother to my baby girls, but, you know, an awesome partner and the best friend to me. So uh, that's how my whole mindset was. So I'm DJing in the club and... This thing walk in with all her little old friends, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, yo. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, who is that? I'm telling my boy, like, who is that? And he's like, oh, man, yeah, that's Crystal, man. She real cool piece, man, blah, blah, blah. I left it at that, you know, didn't even think anything of it. Fast forward about two months later. Two months later, I'm DJing at another party. Boom, guess who walk in? Plateau. Same group of friends, you know what I'm saying? Plateau. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... And she's looking different at this time. So I didn't even realize it was the same chick from last time. I asked my boy, I'm like, yo, who's that? And she's, he's like, yo, that's the same. That's, remember, that's Crystal. You met her last time. I said, man, that's not that same girl I asked about last time. He's like, yes, it is. That's Crystal. I'm like, yo, man, she looked different. Again, didn't think nothing of it. Just kind of kept it moving. Remember, I'm DJing. I'm working. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the dollars. So let's fast forward another month after that. I'm DJing. Another event. Matter of fact, it was Josh Howard's birthday party. Y'all remember Josh Howard used to play for the Dallas Mavericks? Bam! Guess who walked in? This thing over here to my right and her group of friends. This time, one particular friend that was not with her before, I knew she was also a friend of mine. So I pulled her aside and said, uh, what's up with your friend? Who is this? Keep in mind, she looking different again. She didn't look like the same two crystals before. So I'm just asking my friend that I knew that was part of her posse. And she's like, oh, that's my girlfriend, Crystal. Man, she real cool. I said, Crystal who? And she's like, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I went back to my boy and said, hey, man, is that the same Crystal I've been asking about these last few months? He goes, yeah, man, that's the same chick. I'm like, man, she look different. She's like, she changed her look like every freaking month or whatever. So anyways, I asked a friend. I said, well, is she single? What's going on? And she was just coming out of a relationship, so... You know, it was like, whatever. I looked at her finger, didn't see no ring on it, whatever, and everything was cool. But this time, I wasn't going to let it just slide. <laughs> so, about two weeks later, <laughs> I hit her up on MySpace. Oh. Y'all remember that? <laughs> and I asked her out for a date. Guess what she said? No. Like it wasn't nothing. A hard no. I think it was like an explanation point on top of that no. So, everything was cool. Uh, I left it alone. I tried about, what, two weeks later? Mm -hmm. Two or three weeks later? Through my friend. Yeah, through my friend, through her friend, yep. Our mutual friend. Yeah, I said, hey man, why don't you, see, you know, find out, ask Chris if she want to go out and get a little dinner, no, no hard feelings or whatever. And your friend asked you. And I told her, aw, thank you, but no thank you. Shot down twice. I said, yo, I likes this though, I likes this. <laughs> a man like a little challenge every now and then, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, went back to that MySpace page. I see I wasn't in that top eight yet, but I see, <laughs> it, 
I, I sent another message, say hello, how you doing? Blah 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 blah. Just want to see if I can cash in on that um on that little old date, you know, for a little dinner. No. Once again, no. Three times in a row. So at this point, I get the hint. Boom. I'm done. Left it alone. Okay. Now we let let me tell my story since he done said his part. So. Just like how he said, he prayed and all that other stuff. Well, uh, I was in a certain situation where, you know, it wasn't going too well for myself. So I was thinking about moving out of the state of Texas to Atlanta, Georgia. And so I just started praying to God, asking him, like, you know, send me on a right path. Whatever path that may be, just let me get on it so I can follow your lead. And keep in mind, I had no idea what that was going to be. Well, I did run into him. I seen him. He walked in and I said, oh, him. Okay. Melted. Melted. He was cute, but, you know, I had to keep it together and make it seem like, oh, I don't know him because I can't look so hungry and thirsty. Or what they say now, thought, I don't know. Yeah, However they say it. Right. Right. They say yeah, you don't want to be no bother. Yeah, I don't want to try to be no bother. So anyways, you know, I go on about our life and, you know, a few months and stuff go does pass or whatever. And then... My friend did approach me saying, you know, hey, you remember Rock T from the radio station, a DJ? And I was like, yeah. She was like, girl, he wants to take you out. And I was like, oh. And I just was getting out of this relationship. So I was like, no, nah, I don't think I need to do anything like that. Let me just relax. Then she kept explaining to me that he's different. So I was just like, oh, no. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I don't know. I'm different. So then that's when he asked me again, and I said, no, no, thank you. That was the third time he had asked me. And I was like, no. It was, like, it was a hard week that week. And I was just praying to God, like, man, I need some light in my life. Like, just enlighten me somehow. And I was on MySpace. <laughs> what? Bring it all home now. And I ran across his page and again, and I was just looking like, man, you know what? I might as well say something back. So I did respond to him and I did tell him that I love his joke of the day. <laughs> the joke of the doggone day. All I had to do was tell a joke <laughs> at the beginning and I had. And I was telling him how I would laugh even though they weren't funny because they're not. Like for real, they're really not that funny. Sure they are. And I would lose my mind laughing because how he would laugh and how Ricky would laugh is just hilarious. So I would just be like, okay. That's how they made my day. And so I would tell him that I loved his joke of the day. Then I went ahead and just said, so, would you like to go have lunch or something? Oh, oh what did you say, honey? Before I could hit send, he already replied. Dang, he ain't supposed to say all that. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Let's just say his response was yes. Yes. So we went out on our first date. Fast forward, after that, we've just kind of been... Uh, the rest is history, literally. Yeah. After that day, it's just like we couldn't go a weekend without seeing each other to where we couldn't go days without seeing each other to we couldn't go a single day without seeing each other. And fellas, when you meet a girl and she starts asking you about getting puppies, <laughs> you in there. By date number three, she already talked about, so let's talk about puppies. What kind of uh, puppy are we going to get? So I'm like, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in there. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain why I was talking about puppies. Because, girls, you know how when you start talking to a guy that you really, really like, and you're like, oh, my God, I love him. He is the best. And y'all already talked about everything. So you're trying to find a reason to talk to him. <laughs> you just don't want to text him like, hey. So you're trying to find a way to start a conversation. So <laughs> that evidently was... that was my only way to start the conversation that day. So I was like, so let's talk about puppies. And what happened? <laughs> I got a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> little Gizmo. Still here today, player. Yes, he is, my little Gizmo. <laughs> so ladies, after he gave me this dog, it was one of the Sweetest thing this man could ever do for me. So I was already super excited. Keep in mind, I we've talked so much. He knows a lot about me, and I, I by this time he pretty much knows me. He I ended up having like really bad car trouble because my car was really raggedy at the time. She had a hoopty, and this man surprises me with the car. Yes, he did before my birthday. So this is all happening right before my birthday. So I'm looking at it like this is a great birthday gift. And I do remember, I will say this, on my birthday, I woke up because I had a dream and I was so mad at him 
Because I was like, oh my God. And I hit him like this too. Like hard. Like hard. I was like, oh my God. And he was like, what? I said, I had a dream that we were married. And I had a ring on my finger. And then I said, and then I woke up and I ain't got no ring on my finger. And she literally got mad. And I looked at him and I and I said, I don't have a ring on my finger. And he just looked at me like, oh, for real? That kind of blew me off. So I'm looking at him like, okay, it look. It was a dream. It's a dream. It ain't real. It felt so real. Like, for real, for real. It felt real. And I just couldn't believe that I woke up with no ring on my finger. So, after that, okay, the day has went on. And I was like, okay, I got a volleyball game. My sister's here, but all is good. He says, we got to go out to dinner. And I'm like, why? So, anyways, we go to this dinner, which was funny to me. This airplane comes by, and it's saying... Christy, will you marry me? And I looked at him. I said, wouldn't that be crazy if that's what you were saying, proposing to me, and they spelled my name wrong? <laughs> and he just looks at me and he laughs. He's like, yup. And she got attitude. And I got another like... attitude because I'm like, dang, I had a dream that I was supposed to have a ring and I don't have a ring. Then I see, will you marry me, Christy? And it ain't Crystal. And right. I said to him like, did you do that? And they messed up my name, at least? And he's like, nope. Man, she is live it right now so now i'm just i'm done i'm ready for the dinner to be over with and i'm just ready to go so then he was like we gotta make one more stop i'm like where he was like well, we're gonna stop by the hotel and i'm like so we pull up to the hotel y'all he looks at me and said put some lip gloss on yeah i looked at him like why i'm gonna go to a business meeting you know what i'm saying get everything together no that's not what you said he was like okay okay here you go <laughs> you know i got some cake and there's gonna be some cameras and stuff and they're gonna take some pictures I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So she's still thinking it's some part of her little Part birthday. of my birthday. So then I'm like, oh, okay. So then I put my little lip gloss and stuff on. We walk in. He kind of just walks off as we're walking into the hotel. And then I see my two, two of my best friends. And I'm like, looking at them like, what are y'all doing here? And they're like, oh, we're just having brunch and lunch or whatever they said. And I'm like, oh. So then they take me to this table. And if you would like to actually, because I really can't explain it. Words can't even explain how this proposal went down. Because this is what he, this is when he proposed to me. So if you would like to watch the proposal, because it is kind of long, and I know this video has already been a little bit long, mm -hmm. please just click the link. Right. Where's it going to be? Like right we're going to put it down there below. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know, so, you may see it at the end of this video, one of these sides or whatever. Well, so, well click the link. He's going to post on here for us. And it will show our actual proposal and how he was able to put this ring on this finger Balls. and get me for the rest of his life. Can we give just a little tease? Like maybe a little 10, 15 second tease real fast. Okay. Check this out. Oh, oh he's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, brothers are playing what? I don't want to get teary out of the hand. It was sweet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there you have it. That's how we met. That's the short version right there. There's a little bit more to it, but that's that's pretty much how Rocky and Crystal came together. So, make sure you tell your friends, tell your family, hey, let's get everybody subscribing. Um, make your posts, make your comments, anything that you want us to talk about. We're going to start getting really going hard with this channel. And we just want to see whatever we can do to help anybody. So, if you got something that you, that you guys are struggling with as a couple... Bring it to our attention, and we'll tell you what we do, how we deal with it or whatever. You know? How we dealt with it. I just want everybody to understand, our marriage has not just been perfect. Nope. But like I said, we're perfect for each other. Yep. So that's what makes us perfect. Yes. And I think that's what any marriage couple, you're all perfect for each other. So it doesn't mean that your marriage will be perfect. You will hit some bumps and some in some roads and all that other good stuff. You know what I'm trying to say. But it's not going to always be perfect. And next week, we want to talk about communication. Ooh. And did you ladies, just say the C word? Yes, the big C word. Ooh. And ladies, I really want to talk to y'all because it's not always the men that's not communicating. Don't. What'd you say? Stop. Huh? Huh? Look, don't rub it in because huh? still men need to communicate too. But women, we really have to sometimes sit here and understand that. These men can't read our mind. It's going down. It, we finna so go in hard. Next week. We're going in hard next on this week. one. <laughs> but in the meantime, go to rockyandcrystal.com, sign the email list, the newsletter, all that kind of stuff. Man, I'm telling you, it's going down real big. Pass the word. Can't wait to see y'all guys. Please leave comments. Stay positive. We're going to be positive. And any way we can help you guys, we 
really love to. As always, before we sign off, keep God first. Number one. Be best friends with each other. Always. Y'all be blessed. Holla! Bye, loves. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this is when I have to cut them. Go make me a sandwich.